Yo, what's going on LinkedIn? Hopefully you guys are getting ready for the whole holiday weekend. But I had a thought this morning. So I was out this um, this networking function here in Pasadena. It's like Pasadena and coffee and you know, anytime I go to these events, I always get into this whole podcast and debate. And one of the cool um, people I met was uh, Chris Aldrich. And he's like a Hollywood exec. So he doesn't do anything on the front lines. He's more on the behind the scenes guy. And we got to talking about how there really is a need for this control over your like data control, we should say, right? So, and really bringing that into the forefront of the conversation because people act like privacy is the thing, but my, in my opinion, I don't think people care about privacy at all. Obviously, we, we willingly make videos. I'm doing this on my own, right? You're like, no one's making me get into this piece of it. But whenever it comes down to like, really trying to focus on where you publish it and where you post it and having, total control and access of who's going to monetize on top of it that's something i think we all should give a damn about most of us do i believe and so we should really start bringing them bringing them more of the conversation from privacy into really focusing on having control over your content and that's one of the reasons why i love podcasting so much because you know you choose the hosting you you pick out where you want to post the wave file or the mp3 file and there's multiple distribution sites and what, it, what a lot of these companies are really big into where they make most of the money are, is through distribution so whoever has control over those channels normally will ha have access to most of the advertisement dollars and and they give a couple crumbs off to all the creators who actually draw the people to the actual networks and the channels in the first place so if you're thinking about trying to figure out how you can get more control Put it on your own website. Like so, if you, if you have a, if you write for blogs or if you um, do video like so, put it on your website first before you host it on YouTube. Make sure that you have control over it. Have links that bounce back to your website. So, for instance, and the reason why it's important, let me just get into it, is that for any reason, once they change the algorithms, because they always do, because it's their network, they can do whatever they want to do. If they change the algorithms, you don't get nearly as many views or likes or engagement as you once did. I mean, if it's on your website, you're in, you have access to reach out directly to advertisers and, and then negotiate your own deal. So it's really, really important that people kind of know where their actual content lives and how they can access it and can, and most importantly control it if there's any glitches in the matrix. So hopefully you guys have a great holiday weekend. Enjoy Labor Day, have fun, and uh, check out Sales Culture for more content. Stay tuned so I can hopefully uh, drop some more jewels that way.